Welcome to Achievement Hunting in Gears of War, a game known for its fantastic gunplay and meatball-shaped characters. The achievement we're going for in this video might not be the one you'd expect. Originally, it was going to be the Seriously achievement, but that requires 10,000 ranks multiplayer kills, and the servers for this game are more dead than my non-existent social life. Hey! Thankfully, the achievement list has a more entertaining and still downright painful option. So today, I'll be entering the campaign and taking on the game's hardest difficulty, Insanity Mode, by myself. This is the story of how it went. We play as Marcus Phoenix and start off the game needing to fight through a prison with our best friend Dom. Immediately after gaining control of our character, however, we're given an important choice. Tutorial or combat? Now, I haven't played this game in about 10 years, but I do have more unwarranted confidence than a guy with side hustle ideas and a podcast mic. So because of this, I decided to hop right in. And during the first encounter, I wanted to show everyone what I could do. Oh, okay. Well, hello there. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, this is burst. Oh, also, I'm, holy shit. Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> All right, well, now we know how hard this is. This is good. This is good. We're learning. Mm, you know, the tutorial doesn't sound that bad, actually. Once I got caught up on the basics of the game, I went in for attempt two, and it went a lot better this time around. I ended up not only clearing the encounter without too much trouble, but the same happened with the entire rest of the chapter as well. It just goes to show that knowledge really is power, and with the knowledge I gained from the tutorial, there was no way I would die ever again. What? Wow, that is really fast, actually. <laughs> well, apparently I might need a bit more knowledge after all. For the remainder of the first act, we're given the objective to find a resonator. This device will scan and map locust tunnels so that we can deliver a nuke-shaped present right to their doorstep. The squad assigned to do this is made up of four people. You, Dom, Kim, and Carmine. But if you're expecting any of the other three to be helpful on this difficulty, then they're about to let you down harder than the Purdue men's basketball team. Kim! Who the f*** is Kim, by the way? Oh my god! Carmine! No, he's dying a lot earlier in the story than I remember. It's basically going to be up to you to get through the majority of this game. So that being the case, I needed to gather all the info I could to carry this squad to victory. Why is the ground shaking? Oh, understandable. Okay. Oh, okay. So once it gets like this bad, any more shots will probably kill me. We do not make the same mistake twice. Apparently Carmine does. We don't, okay? Okay, wait, back, back to cover. Wait, patience, patience is key. Easy. Flat. Nice. Nice, there we go, baby. A couple of gunfights after that, and we make it to the museum, where the cog don't seem to be holding out too well. Possible KIA, yep. <laughs> That's exactly what I see too. He might be okay. We'll have to go see. <laughs> if it's any consolation to that dead guy though, I didn't hold out all that well either. The inside of the museum was pretty standard. It had its ups. Yeah! Let's go, Tom! And its downs. Uh, that's to be expected, to be honest. <laughs> At least he got one out of it. I can appreciate that. But it was just outside this museum where I ran into the most trouble. Especially if you take the word trouble from the last sentence and replace it with minigun bullets. Go! <laughs> Alright, well that's not gonna work. As you saw, running, not a very good idea. Neither was peeking for headshots or throwing grenades for that matter. The worst part about dying here though is that you have to watch an unskippable cutscene before getting to try again. It's not the downtime between attempts that's the painful part either. It's actually the god-awful mouth animations. There's only one way to know for sure. Oh my god. I've just paid attention to like the mouth movements of these characters. <laughs> what the hell is that, man? So if nothing I came up with was working, how did I get past this turret guy? Well, I wasn't the only one learning here, and Twitch chat recommended that I shoot the guy in the leg. I was a bit skeptical, but surprisingly enough, it worked. I don't think I would have ever come to this conclusion myself, honestly. You see, I have a powerful third leg that I could make use of in an emergency, but apparently not everyone does, so that's good to know for the future. This section taught me that doing hard achievements with chat really is useful sometimes, but uh, not because of the tips they give me. It's actually because they're able to console me when I die again anyway and get sent back to the cutscene again. Oh! <laughs> There's only one way to know for 
for sure. <laughs> what was that? Our next target is House of Sovereigns. Straight ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, dude? <laughs> a little further along and we're given another choice. Left or right? Considering I messed up the first decision, I wanted to leave this one up to Twitch chat since it was their idea that saved me just a second ago. The issue, however, and I really should have thought about this, is that this is still Twitch chat we're talking about. Left, up, both, right, right, down, left. <laughs> chat, we're not playing a fucking fighting game. <laughs> choose, choose left or right. <laughs> we're not trying to do a 360 Shoryuken combo with Ryu and Street Fighter. South. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I got you, got you. In the end, I chose left, and it seemed to work out pretty well for me. I managed to avoid a turret stationed on the right, and all that was left to do was clear out this whole filled area. Oh my god, there's a lot of holes that I need to fill. I feel like fucking Johnny Sins, chat. This is ridiculous. You know what I'm really glad about? I'm glad that if I take cover, they're not gonna just be able to, like, peg me. Not not like that. Um, I, I mean, like, they're not gonna be able to, like, hit me at all. Oh no, what, what, what do we have going on here? Oh, just another, okay. It, it really like emphasized that hole. I thought there was gonna be something horrible coming out of it. Like a child, really focused on the holes today? Listen, this is the entire point of the game. How am I not supposed to be? Bop, 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 bop. Why don't I just do this actually? <laughs> this is so much safer. <laughs> Let me make sure I take cover here. Oh my god. Actually, when they get up right next to me in cover, kind of kind of go to strat. Ah! Okay. That was a little scary, but we're all right. Everything's fine. <laughs> this section somehow turned out okay for me, but the same could not be said about the plaza right after. This is one of the places I struggled with the most in Act 1. When I pushed towards the building, I'd get wrecked by a grenadier. When I'd go into the building, I'd get flanked by the enemies inside. And when I didn't get flanked, I just missed all my shots. Shit. Okay, you know? <laughs> he just, he dodged all the shots, chat. There was really nothing I could do. Eventually, by hanging back a bit, I was able to wipe out a good amount of locusts before pushing in. This worked wonders for me, and made this section a lot more trivial than it was at the beginning. However, although things were looking up for me, things weren't looking nearly as good for our friend Carmine. We are currently trying and failing at, oh shit. <laughs> Oh, who the fuck was that? <laughs> was that Carmine? Hold on, wait. I, I need to I need to rewatch that. I need the fake reaction for YouTube. Give me a second. <clears throat> uh, hold on. Uh, do I have any water? I need I need to get my throat ready. <clears throat> what? No, it doesn't play the cutscene again. Ah, oh, pain. Okay. Well. Uh. <laughs> ultimate edition. Okay. Why not? Okay. Okay. Every everyone everyone play along. Okay. <laughs> ready? Okay. Everyone on three. Oh, I wonder what is going to happen. What is the problem, Carmine? Carmine, no! Oh, God! Not Carmine! Okay, we're good. That should work, right? I, I feel like that was pretty believable. Carmine's death was absolutely shocking to me, but I had to shake it off and move on. It seemed his spirit was looking out for me as well, because the next few sections after this were back to being pretty easy. We meet a future squad member in Cole, use the Hammer of Dawn on anti-air spiders, and of course, throw in a few deaths for good measure. Yeah, take cover, shoot, take cover, shoot, take cover, shoot, take cover, shoot, take cover, shoot. That's not good. <laughs> That was, uh, that was, that was not ideal, I would have to say. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, not good. Wait, wait, really bad. Shit. <laughs> That's on me. <laughs> I know that all of you, including myself, call me a moron at times, and it is very true. I, I, I don't disagree with that. But here's the thing. I am not a moron because I am dumb. I am a moron because a lot of the time, I, a lot of the time, I decide not to use my brain. And it results in me being an idiot. But now, once my game, my gamer brain has been activated, there's no way I can lose. So it's totally fine. The crowd is about to go wild as I complete this chapter with little... Oh, hold on a second. Hold on, that's scary. Oh, no more deaths. <laughs> it's all fine. Nothing to worry. Okay, there's a little bit to worry about. So uh, as I was saying, I'm a moron because I am dumb and don't use my brain a lot of the time. <laughs> a few deaths after a few deaths later, we rain hell onto the locust on the street and meet up with Barrett. It's very convenient we found him at the time we did too, because it seems as though Kim 
might not be joining us for that much longer. Uh oh. No! Wow, okay. You just gave him a punch. Uh, that, that's a lot less. No! No! Not Kim! Oh god, how could this happen? The tides have turned in the war chat! Feel the reaction this time? Thank you, I've been practicing. After last stream, I need to make sure I was very much on point for this time. Rest in peace, Lieutenant Kim. I only knew you for about 20 minutes. And you were kind of a dick. And you kind of got downed a lot. Yeah, that's honestly all I got, chat. <laughs> like Carmine's, Kim's passing obviously took a huge toll on me. But what affected me even more negatively was what was waiting ahead. Hey, I think you might have gone the wrong way, man. If you wanna, I, I'm pretty sure the Berserker is over if, uh, over there if you wanna. Okay, so pros and cons. Good, Berserker, blind. Bad, Berserker, insta-kill. Ah! <laughs> Where did the exit go? <laughs> Good, Berserker, easy to run from. Bad, friends, not as fast. Dom, you moron. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, what? What? Could you just go through the fucking door? Oh my god, I'm babysitting two idiots now. Sad. This has turned from a horror game into a horrible game. Good. The Hammer of Dawn kills the Berserker. Bad. Resonator needs to be taken to enemy territory. Great. Our objective in Act 2 is to acquire an armored vehicle so that we can get to the Resonator's future Ground Zero. After running into some boomers that are only slightly less malicious than the ones in Congress, we eventually find ourselves at a bridge. This is where I ran into another big roadblock though. Firstly, there was a really annoying emergence hole on the other side. This hole must have sucked down Philip Rivers or something because it was popping out enemies like no tomorrow. There was also another turret guy here who was too far away to immediately shoot in the legs. Each thing alone might have resulted in a couple of deaths each, but them combined resulted in quite a lot more. How many of these things are there? Okay, hold on, that's it. That's it, it's my turn. That's not good. <laughs> Insanity mode isn't hard, I said. It's fine. It's actually so much easier than the modes I have been playing before, I said. Oh! I did not take cover there. Okay, uh, let's just... Uh... Yeah, actually, you know, maybe we should just preemptively. There we go. So I don't have to touch it another six times. I think I think this should probably be good. So I'm going to try and do this, right? So bear with me here, chat. Okay, that's not going to hit because I goofed it, but that's okay. How? How did I get it? That makes no sense. <laughs> Why did I get it that time? <laughs> Uh-oh. I... Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm actually mad that I succeeded. What the fuck? Where the fuck did that guy come from? All right, well, <laughs> on to the next one. Okay, so there's one right there. Reload, go here. Okay, so I did the first time. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Please don't hurt me, thank you. Wow, he's not dead still, that's crazy. <laughs> Oh! Let's get that vehicle. Hell yeah. Yes! Yeah, kill me twice. Oh my god. That was actually painful. With the bridge behind us, things end up getting a lot more mellow for a bit. We walk through a recreation of the city of San Francisco and take far less tries going across the river a second time. The unfortunate thing, however, is that the sun has gone down, which means it's time for the krill to come out. The krill will kill you pretty fast if you step into the darkness, so we'll have to make use of all the light sources we can as we fight the enemies here. I personally didn't have all that much trouble staying in the light, but I can't really say the same for Dom here. Okay, what's even worse is that I have absolutely zero ammunition, which I... I got a checkpoint, right? Surely. I saw the checkpoint appear on screen. <sighs> okay, thank God. <laughs> Fucking Dom. <dumb. laughs> a bit later on, we have to babysit Dom with a spotlight, and I got to watch some boomer on boomer violence happen right before my eyes. This is the old man! Watch out! Oh shit, watch out for me too, Jesus Christ. Wait, did he mur- 
Dude, this old man is actually the goat. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the old man's teachings must have rubbed off on me, because nothing I ran into after this took more than two tries. The second act concludes with a short section in which you have to drive an APC, and a holdout section with a bunch of emergence holes for you to plug. The most threatening part here is probably the boomers that spawn right behind you at the end. Getting hit by a boomer grenade launcher means you're instantly done for. But I managed to find a way around the threat with the old Obi-Wan Kenobi high ground strat. I do have an angle here, surely, right? Like the boomer's not gonna kill me? Oh my god, everyone's getting murdered. <laughs> Wait, this is actually working surprisingly too well. <laughs> I don't think they can- I don't think they have an angle on me. <laughs> oh, I am so down for this. Cheating. No, I, I am taking advantage of my masterful skill and mechanics. Thank you very much. Oh, shit. We beat Act 2. Wow, I didn't die again. <laughs> oh, no, I did die. I didn't die twice. <laughs> With that complete, it was on to Act 3, where we need to make our way into the Locust Tunnels to finally deploy the Resonator. The entrance to these tunnels is found in a factory producing emulsion, which works the same as oil in the real world, except it also has the ability to turn Locust into bombs. Fortunately, navigating through the initial rooms of the factory is pretty easy. Well, until you get to this part. I'm down. Imagine the untapped re- Oh, really? I didn't notice, actually. <laughs> What's your favorite cake flavor? Dude, I like lemon cakes. I'm not even gonna lie. Lemon is such a good- Oh, that's not great. Oh, that's- <laughs> Right, well, <laughs> unlucko. Hey, we reached the big 5-0 though, chat. That's cause for uh, whatever the opposite of celebration is. I still actually have no idea how to get through here without trial and getting the shit beaten out of me, but in the room after, I didn't have to worry about it anymore. You would think that this would be a good thing, but it only got rid of the trial part, not the shit getting beaten out of me part. Oh my, okay, well, well, well. Wow, okay, this is not going to be an easy part. I was up Tulip, how are you? Alright, be possessed. Yeah, so maybe meleeing isn't actually the greatest idea. Oh my god, this is so cringe! Holy sh... <laughs> I don't know what to do here. <laughs> oh my god, please stop! Okay, not bad. One more. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh, there we go. Just bash your head against the wall enough times, chat, and it will break. Trust me. I have had multiple concussions doing this. We make it past that hellscape and finally descend into the literal hellscape of the Locust Tunnels. Not much changes here, though. You're still fighting a combination of normal enemies and lambent wretches that I've now learned to be a lot more scared of during my time on the surface. As much as I wanted to believe those would be the worst things down here, though, they weren't. It was this guy. I am not appreciative of what is going on here. <laughs> Holy shit, smoke. That's always so fun, doing achievements with friends. Can't imagine this is going to go well for me. <laughs> is that counting? Oh, wait, they... That, that's got some fucking range. <laughs> It's got some range to it. <laughs> Goodness gracious. What happens if you pet the Spidey? Chat, if um, if this next death doesn't count, will you allow me to pet the spider, yay or nay? All right, let's see what goes on. Hello. You look very beautiful today. I can't get any. It was so adorable that I died. Okay, shoot the belly. Is what I've been told. That was that was a very good attempt, in my opinion. I I, I felt like I got really close to beating it there. <laughs> Initially, I was pretty lost on how to beat this guy, especially with all the insta kills. But eventually, I figured it out. By shooting him in the belly, he opens his mouth. Shoot him in the mouth, he backs up. Back him up to the final platform, and it's basically GG. You would think that after what amounted to a boss fight, that the game would throw something a bit easier at you. Well, this one throws you the third hardest part in the entire game. And the reason for that can be summed up in two words. Torque bows. Yeah! No! 
Wow, my mood changed so instantaneously. <laughs> this is where we have our first encounter with the Theron Guards. Dripped out locust variants with bows that turn you from a boomer into a boomy. And let me tell you, it's a lot harder to dodge these and fight enemies than you may think. Why? Oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> There's no real strategy to this part other than to just get good. So I kept going until I got my golden attempt. No! No! <laughs> Damn it. Alright, we're at 70, 72, 72. Wait, standing here is so much of a better idea. Why the hell did I not do this before? They're just gonna stay up there instead of pushing me. Oh my god, that guy has shotgun. F*** that. There's still more? Oh my. I ah, there are a lot more! Okay, focus. Focusing. No, 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 not like this. Not like this! Thank you! No! <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> it's, it's, ooh. Not like this. I missed. I missed. Could you? No, not like this. You moron. You absolute fool. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, that took 10 bajillion years, but we're finally free. Honestly, this part was way more stressful than it had any right to be. But somehow we got it done, and we set off the resonator. With the resonator's sonic pulses mapping the tunnels, that's the end of our adventure. Our objective was complete, and the locusts were finally about to be defeated. All that was left to do in the playthrough was sit back, relax, and send in the light mass bomb. Delta, bad news. It didn't work. What? How could this be possible? No! Oh god, how could this have happened? Oh no, what a plot twist. To my shock, it turns out that the resonator didn't work. And so, in Act 4, we're sent to uncover another lead on how to map out the tunnels. Okay, why is it giving me a hammer of done? I'm a little concerned with that. Oh, nothing happens. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, never mind. My, my apologies, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Despite running into a berserker, or him running into me, I suppose, most of this act wasn't that bad. There are only two places here where I really struggled. The first one on the list is this checkpoint. There's a turret encampment on a bridge that I could not get by no matter how hard I tried. And the enemies before that were no slouches either. He is out in the open, nice. And there's this guy who's the last guy. From what I remember. Where'd he go though? Hello? <laughs> Why'd it take a screenshot? <laughs> well, I wonder what the hold on. Can I see what the screenshot was? Their last capture. Okay, let's see. Sick. <laughs> what do you what do you guys think? Do you think I overused the color red in this, or do you think it's like good? I'm trying to uh, really encapsulate the despair I was feeling in this moment, personally. It really captures the stream. Shut up. <laughs> I spent so much time trying to run past this part and shooting at the turret guys, but literally nothing would work. I was truly at a loss with what to do. But then, do I? Don't tell me I had to go this way the entire time. Please, please, please. No, not like this. <laughs> Don't let me find out like this, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so due to my inability to find the correct direction, you'll probably not struggle here as much as I did. The same cannot be said about the mansion, also known as the second hardest thing in the entire game. Ow. No, why, man? <laughs> What? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> when you get to this point, you'll first need to take the approach up. This is filled with torque bows and boom shots though, so instantaneous death is just a way of life here. Is 85 deaths tonight? No, it's 80. Hello? What? <laughs> they can insta kill me? Okay, well. <laughs> Next up is actually infiltrating the mansion. This honestly isn't too bad, but if you make a few mistakes like I did, don't you? No! 
Chat, what direction was that man facing when he meleeed me? Then you'll be sent back to the last checkpoint, obviously. The problem arises when you realize that the last checkpoint was 10 minutes ago. Oh my god, this is actually miserable. <laughs> what is this checkpoint system? <laughs> Once you're done asking your locust friends politely yet firmly to leave, it's on to the basement. And here, you need to find a secret door to the map you're looking for. You can tell they did a really good job with the secret part too, since it took me another 10 minutes to actually figure out where to go. Finishing this up leads us to the hardest part of the section. This will require you to defend the mansion and escape with countless waves of enemies coming down on you. Surviving all this punishment is pretty tough, but I wasn't gonna give up easy. I was dying to get to the last act, both figuratively and literally. What? Wait, what did I get killed by? <laughs> Was there one already up here? I hate this game. Oh god, okay, he's finally over. Okay, now I just have to not die by stupid grunts and I should be okay. It's easier said than done, knowing me. <laughs> Damn, okay, hold on. We are not doing this today! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, dude, I tried to melee, but it... <laughs> I'm glad you're able to come in for sure. <laughs> Tom. Brother, he's in front of you. Just hit him, please. <laughs> I'm also. What? Holy shit. Okay. Well, this is not going very well. Bruh, I'm getting killed by just the normal people now. What do I do? Oh my god. I'm just not in my game today. Okay, where's the boomer, though? He's in here somewhere. Wait, is he? Oh, he's right there. What the f***? Dom, don't be right there, dude. He's gonna shoot at you and I'm gonna get caught in the crossfire. I guarantee it. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a chance. Please don't shoot. Bless you, boomer man. Nice. In the back of the house. Checkpoint, please. Checkpoint, pause, champ. <laughs> Please, <laughs> uh, please, I'm begging you. <laughs> just one check, just one smidgen of checkpoint. That's all I ask. <laughs> oh, oh, I need a second. I need a second. <laughs> oh my god, thank goodness. Oh my god, it's, oh, I finally don't have to do that part anymore. I'm so happy. <laughs> Once you survive the mansion and make your escape, the second hardest part in the game is finally over. This leads us into Act 5, which is the final act in the entire game. On one hand, you're almost done, and this is the shortest act of them all. On the other... The train is a culmination of every stupid thing that's killed you throughout the playthrough, and very well deserving of the coveted hardest stupid shit in the game award. I died a lot here, but I'll cover the main things quickly so that we can get to the main event. You'll start off by fighting your way up the train cars. This'll just be normal enemies and Theron guards for the time being, but they're really just meant to give you a false sense of security until you reach the Berserker. Where did you come from? <laughs> we were at the back of the train, there's no way you could have snuck on! <laughs> there's no Hammer of Dawn to fight at this time, but by luring the Berserker onto the rear train car, you can then press a button to detach the car before the berserker detaches all your limbs Piece of shit. <laughs> true dom that is the first thing you said all day that i agree with with him out of the way next up is the turret section this part is really frustrating i would die over and over because the turret turn radius was garbage and the enemies had every single line of sight possible to make my life miserable that guy is very high above me and has a torque bow i am terrified I had every right to be terrified, apparently. <laughs> After multiple attempts and suffering through the worst tilt I'd faced thus far, what produced the most success for me was by using the turret before any of the flying boys got close and using the torque bow once they did. You're probably gonna have to roll out more than Optimus Prime to avoid all the bullets and explosives, but eventually it'll work out. A bit farther into the train, we run into the Lambent Wretches again. These ones felt a bit more manageable than the ones in Chapter 3, but since one wrong move can separate you from your torso, I use the term manageable lightly. Once all that's done though, there's only one thing left to do. <sighs> Wait a sec. Okay. 
We're, we're there. We're at the boss fight. We're at the ends, chat. General Rom is a bullet sponge, but unlike the type of sponge that just sits there and takes it, Rom prefers to fire back. You're not just dealing with him either. There's also his krill, as well as more flying enemies for you to worry about. This was the moment I had been dreading the entire game, and I knew I was going to struggle here for a while. All that being said, however, Rom was also the only thing left in the way of my achievement. So I proceeded to try and find a way to take him out. Uh oh. Wait, what? I can do that? I'm not even gonna bother. I, I know for a fact that that's a trick. It's a dirty trick the game is trying to get me to do so that I fail. Hey buddy, how are you? If you wanna just like stay there, I, I, I personally do not mind. I mean, I, 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 I know we're like enemies and everything, but I, I, I'm kind of enjoying my uh, current situation. I know you are too. I mean, we, we could keep it up. Yeah, I'm not against it. Okay. Oh, he's getting much closer and is much scarier. That that was immediate and scary. Okay, hold and run and hold and run. I'm dead. <laughs> Dude, that is too fast. I think just the fact that there's not only Rom that's absolutely murdering my shit right now, but also things on the side that are also murdering my shit is very not okay. Damn. Oh, these side guys are gonna be so cringe. If you torque him and get on the turret, it's easy clapping from there. The only thing is I don't think the torque is going to like, I, I tried to torque him and to stun him and it didn't work, but I can give it a whirl. Dom is actually being a very good distraction right now. The only issue is I still cannot get past General Rom in spite of it. Okay, wait, hold on. I, I just keep running, doofus. All right, well, I mean, ow. Okay, yeah, I, I assumed that might have been an issue. I can't exactly do anything about this. I would need my helicopter friends to uh, help me out here. All right, well, I mean, fuck it, we try. We ball. Oh, he's not shooting at me. I don't know, all right. Oh, he's shooting at me now! <laughs> all right, yeah, I assumed that was gonna happen in the turret. Oh, wait, what? What? Hey, yo, what the f just happened? <laughs> Hey, the turret was the move after all. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> we did it! Let's go! <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, that turret was actually kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Where is this? Oh, Lambency. Oh, we're just dropping this shit. <laughs> all right, cool, cool, cool. Wait, how are we gonna get off the train? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Jump, Marcus! Wait, where's Dom? <laughs> Mar Dom's... How is he on the helicopter already? <laughs> when did this happen? Why didn't I get- All right. Also pause champ. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, yeah, you try and run, buddy. Uh, not happening today. Not on my watch. We did it. Humanity is saved. <laughs> Surely they won't come back though, right chat? <laughs> Looks like we've taken care of them for good and there's no way there could possibly be a sequel since they have all been eradicated. And we are not dead yet. Oh no! They're not all eliminated! Oh, gee, oh, oh gosh. Wow, what an unexpected turn of events. And that, my friends, is Gears of War on Insanity. Apparently, the fight's not over yet, so if you want to see me take on another, harder Gears game in the future, then you should let me know by doing the good old liking and commenting thing. Reflecting on the playthrough, this ended up being easier than I thought it would be, but still provided a satisfying challenge that I'd recommend to anyone. Now, I guess I gotta find a way to boost my 10,000 multiplayer kills. But while I'm doing that, if you want to see me attempt an achievement far more tilting than this one, then you should check out this video. I'm also attempting these challenges on Twitch, so if you want to watch the pain live, shoot me a follow there as well. With that, I'll see you all in the next one.